in some labs, you might be asked to find the average deviation of your results. <clears throat> and so in this lab where there's pressure and volume data, and you're asked to calculate the uh, value for one over volume and pressure times volume, and we're kind of looking at those to see which one gives a constant value. Uh, the pressure volume data is giving a constant value. Those values are are fairly clustered around the average here of 1013, but how far away are they from that? And so we can do the absolute deviation uh, as the first step in the calculation, which is taking the value that you have and subtracting it from the average, taking the absolute value of that. We'll then calculate the average of the absolute deviations. And so that's done down here, and that's the typical way to take an average. So you're going to add up all eight of these values, divide it by eight, and we'll get an average deviation of 23. Uh, just the visual and the words, spoken words here, are enough to help you calculate the average deviation uh, from a set of data points. Now here's kind of a visual uh, walking you through some other data on how to find uh, absolute deviation and average deviation. So some of you need the, or, or prefer to have some, some words to look at to kind of walk you through the steps of making that calculation. Um, for some of you, maybe 